Tonight at 11, we're getting a closer look at police body cam video showing the minutes leading up to the Marion police shooting and killing a man today. This footage released within the last hours of the gunfire. Police tonight saying that 39 year old Michael Guy was inside the home of his estranged wife when officers encountered him. Investigators say he had a protective order against him and was wanted for invasion of privacy, so they tried to arrest him. Emily Longnecker is in the newsroom for us to tell us what happened next. Emily? Well, Scott, the Marion Police Department released this video this afternoon. The lighting on it is low, but what you hear and see is a struggle between police and the man who an officer ultimately shot and killed. Indiana State Police say it all started with a phone call from Guy's estranged wife saying he was inside her home and wasn't supposed to be. Here's video with officers talking to her before they enter the home on West 8th Street early Monday morning. What about this side yeah, over there? Break it in. I don't care. It's my house, too. We're married. We've been married for 15 years. There's a protection order. He right. came into my house. And the only person he has an issue with is because I won't take him back. I, he ain't about to kill me. Right. Police walk through the home before finding Guy in a room. You got a search warrant. Oh, what's your name? You got a search what's warrant. Name, huh? You ain't got no search warrant. You can't come in my house. He does have a search warrant. Police say at some point, Guy grabbed one officer's holster that had a gun in it. Let it go. You can hear them struggling and the sound of an officer using a taser, which police say was ineffective. At that time, uh, at least one shot was fired by the Marion City police officer striking Mr. Guy. Police say they tried to save Mr. Guy's life, but he died at the scene. Guy's mother got the call from his sister. I was getting up, getting ready for work, and my daughter told me to get to my son's house. And just by the time I got over here, he was already gone. Vera Cole says her son was a semi-driver and had seven kids, ages 5 to 15. Monday was his oldest child's birthday. Cole called her son a loving person who would do anything for his family. Now the only thing Cole can do is pray and hope that I find justice, the right justice for this. The officer who fired his weapon is now on administrative leave, which is standard procedure. The Grant County prosecutor will decide what, if any, charges will be filed. Scott.